All right, January 25th. I'm gonna go for some white perch today. I'll start in this little tidal section here. There we go. Not a white perch, but big mummy chug. Here we go. Whoa. Really tiny carp. Really tiny carp. And yeah, it's a common carp, not a crucian. Alright. See you later, little guy. Yeah, I'm just using just some pieces of an earthworm on a hook. The polarized glasses definitely help because I can actually see like the silhouettes of the fish underwater. And that's helpful. So I know exactly where to cast. What is this here? Probably using a little light tackle for what I'm doing. But. This guy is foul hooked. Foul hooked in the dorsal. Alright. Let him go. Alright, now I'm losing a lot of these guys. Um, I'm just not being able to set the hook on this like ultralight tackle, you know, because I got two pound tests, so I can't, you know, set the hook too hard. And carp are pretty tough like mouths, so a lot of them, you know, a fish picks up the worm. I make initial contact with it, but then I, the, they spit the hook right away. So, we'll see. Still, still more fun on light tackle, because these are not big carp. Whoa, this guy's jumping and everything. Oh. These carp are so small, they kind of look just like white perch. Yeah, about the size of the last one. I believe this is an adolescent bald eagle. I bet those two juvenile bald eagles that were here when I rolled up, uh, they were going after the carp. There we go. There's another. Another foul hooked. A lot of them foul hooked today. Later. There we go. There's another. There he goes. All right guys, well that was some pretty good consistent action with little carp. Uh, pretty fun on the ultralight tackle and always fun to get them in the brackish water. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications on future content. Also, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that. Be Sprack, same as YouTube. And I will see you all in the next video.